What's up guys, Chris Tips One. How's everyone doing? Today, it's gonna be a fun one. Tomorrow's Halloween, so I figured we'd do a little Halloween dip combo. So what two dips are we gonna use? First, let's go with the Skull Peach. I bought some Skull Peach on Friday. It was ridiculous, 10, 15 for a can of peach. But then again, I am grateful that I don't live in Canada. I'm out here complaining about a $10 can of dip and these guys are paying 30, 35 bucks. If you're a Canadian dipper and you're watching this, how much are you spending for dip? But 10, 15 for an American is ridiculous. Whenever you mix a fruit dip for me, I don't like to, to mix it with like a wintergreen or a mint. I wanna mix it in with a natty. Not just any natty, Copenhagen Black. Copenhagen Black. I tried this calm already, it's freaking delicious. But first I gotta give a few words to this peach. The peach can is a little bit different. I don't know this outer silver um, rim here is uh, new or not. Again, I don't really pay too much attention to skull. But this can was dry, dude. As soon as I cracked it, it just felt dry, it looked dry, and again, you got that typical skull cut. And I was shocked when I, when, when I dipped it. I was truly shocked by how little, how little flavor it had. The peach wasn't even like overwhelming. It was like barely noticeable, which is completely weird because the last, you know, peach dip I've had was probably Longhorn. I still think Timberwolf peach is the best, but can't find Longhorn peach. But the Skull stuff, it, it's, it was so underwhelming that I had to make a combo out of it because I couldn't dip this by itself. So what I do is I don't get a really big pinch, just about, well, it's probably a decent sized pinch. Man, a peach bourbon, dude. Now this is the original can I had when I did the review. I have about half a can left. A little bit less of what I, this pinch is gonna be bigger. It's gonna be bigger than your normal size pinch. Now I like to tongue the crap out of this dip in here just to mix it around. Because if, say I loaded the uh, peach in and then the Copenhagen black and the black is in front, where the lip is, you're gonna be tasting more peach. And right off the bat, you can taste it, man. It's, you taste Copenhagen Black mostly, even though I put less Copenhagen Black in there. With the hint of peach. It's nice, it's vibing in my mouth right now, and throughout the next 30 to 40 minutes, it's gonna get a good flavor in there. I'm spinning this old classic Splatoon. Love it. It's old school, baby. This is what I've been using here on my desk. For those of you who are in my live stream last week, no. Um, really quick guys, last week's live stream was by far the most powerful <laughs> live stream ever. Like I was able to get everything off my chest, talking about my mental health, talking about the processes, the ups and downs from leaving California to my chaotic psychosis periods I've had here with some journeys with the uh, you know, and um, I wanted to do another video to officially upload it on this channel, but I, I, I got it all out. The video is up. If you go to the live tab under my videos, it's the last one. It's titled Being Real With You All. It was, it was a bunch of people on that stream and uh, we all helped each other. And for those who were on that live stream, I just wanna say I appreciate you all. Now back to combo dips. It's, it's not everything mixes well. You're not gonna mix a wintergreen with a mint. That's just, what does that turn into? Spearmint, <laughs> you know what I mean? And whenever I do a combo, I always want a neutral dip, whether it's a natty, maybe even sometimes a straight might work, even though I hate straight, but it's always good to pick a flavor, a fruity flavor with a natty, in my opinion. Now, I know there's a lot of dip mixologists out there. What are two combos that you enjoy? I wanna hear them down below. As far as Skull Peach is concerned, this is, I would never buy this ever again. It's been five, six years probably since I've tried this. After being $10 and after how underwhelming, after how dry it really is. I mean, dude, this thing is sell by January 7th, 2024. This doesn't expire for another few months and it's still dry. It tastes like ass. And in order for me to dip it, I have to mix it with some cope. Today I am rocking one of my shirts, the Pack Dip Spit shirt. Jesse redesigned the whole website at AmericanNation.com. Check it out. Let me know what you guys think of the redesign. We also released some long sleeves on our popular designs, testing that out. We got some hats. Again, 
testing that out. Um, you can get any of my gear or any American Nation gear at AmericanNation.com. Use code CD1 for 10% off. Tomorrow is Halloween. I hope everyone has a great and safe night. Any plans? I mean, I know all the parties and stuff were this past weekend. Is there anything special that you guys do? Any traditions you do with your family, your kids, your brothers, your sisters? Let me know. I like to hear it. Can't believe it's already Halloween. Christmas, Thanksgiving, crap. Where did the time go, man? Jeez. I remember last see, last last Halloween wasn't too productive here. I mean, I didn't have any trick or treaters, which sucks because I brought some candy, and nobody came. And I expect that to be like this uh, tomorrow. So probably gonna go out with uh, Jesse and a, a couple friends out here and have some dinner and just kind of hang out for a bit, but nothing too crazy. Other than that, guys, if you have these two dips or if you have another peach and you have a can of Copenhagen Black, this is gonna taste way better with a Longhorn or with a Timberwolf or maybe even a kayak. But that is my combo. I hope you guys have a great day. I love you all. And if you ain't dipping, you ain't living. <laughs>